Hello, hope you are doing good. I'm your host Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to make Infinite Logo Carousel on Wix Editor. For example, you can see my Wix website right here and I have an Infinite Logo Carousel displayed. Now to get started, I'm going to tap on Back to Editor and I'm going to show you how I did this. So I'm going to be removing this entire section. So let me tap on Delete right here. So after you have removed it, you can see that I have my header section right here. The first thing that I would recommend you do is select the header section, then you're going to simply pull it down to extend it a bit. Once you have done that, you're going to go over to the left-hand menu option, and you're going to tap on the plus that says add elements. From there, you're going to tap on either upload and import, and you can upload your images, but for this example, I'm just going to be using royalty-free images from Wix. So I'll select this free image. So you can select the image right there. After you have selected the image, you can pull along the end to adjust the size of the image. So I can do that right there. And you can also adjust the size of the header section so you could pull it back up. Once you have done that, you can choose to copy it. So I could select the image, then right click and I'm just going to tap on duplicate. After duplicating it, I'll just carry it across and I'm going to be displaying it right there. Then I'll tap again and I'm going to be selecting duplicate and I'm going to be adding it right here. After I've finished doing that, I'm just going to be selecting it and from there you could tap on change image, for example. So let's say I were to change the image. So let's say I were to select this image, then tap on choose. And I'm going to be changing this one also. So I'll select that image and I'm going to tap on choose. And I'm going to be using this image. Then tap on choose image. Once you have added the images that you would like to use, what I want you to do next, you're going to be selecting all three images or all four images that you would like to use as your logo. So you'll select from the first image and you're just going to drag it across. Then you're going to see the option up here, group elements. You're going to tap on that. After selecting group elements, from there you're going to tap on animation. After selecting animation, you're going to select loop. Once you have selected loop, you can select cross as you can see right here. After selecting the cross animation, I want you to tap on the X to close it. Then you're going to simply right click and you're going to tap on duplicate once more. After you have duplicated it, you're going to simply pull along the section that you have duplicated and you can either place it at the front or the back of the original logo carousel. So you can see right here. So we are creating an infinite loop. Once you have done this, if we were to tap on preview in the top right hand corner, you can see how it looks right now. So this is it. So you can see that we have created an infinite logo carousel. Once you are finished, you'll tap on publish and it is now live. If it is a case that you would like to also add text, you can do that. You will tap on element in the top left hand corner. Then you could select text. From there, you could select the text style that you would like to use. So let's say for example, header four, and you could add it right here. And again, you will simply duplicate it and then you can also add the text that you would like to use. So for example, I'll select it and I'm just going to tap on duplicate and I'm going to drag and place it right here. And you can adjust the size of the box by tapping on the box right there. I'll adjust the size as you can see right here. So let me adjust the size of this box real quick. And again, I'm going to tap on duplicate. So let's select it and then we're going to right click and we could tap on duplicate once more. Then we'll drag and place it. And you'll continue doing this right across just like what we did with the images. Once you're finished, you're going to select all three or four and you're going to tap on group elements. After selecting group elements, you can tap on animation once more. Then you will select loop. And again, you would select cross like what you see right here. So you can select cross right there. After you have selected cross, you can choose if you would like it to go from right to left and you can also select the duration and so on. Once you're finished, if we were to tap on preview once more, you can see how it looks. And that's it. 
Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.